New information tonight on the case of a deaf mute immigrant accused of killing a James City County teen. The Virginia Supreme Court ruled yesterday it does not have jurisdiction to hear the case of Oswaldo Martinez, who has been held without trial for 13 years. We ask a Virginia Beach attorney with the expertise on appellate procedures where this leaves Martinez. He's in limbo. He's really in limbo right now. Oswaldo Martinez's situation is so unique that no one knows what to do. He doesn't get a hearing because he's not competent. He's not insane, so he's not going to go to a mental hospital for treatment for insanity. He's not going to be released because the Commonwealth is never going to let somebody go when there's a, a, a double capital murder indictment on him. Martinez is an undocumented immigrant from El Salvador who's both deaf and mute. He's accused of raping and strangling 16-year-old Brittany Binger late one January night in 2005. Since then, doctors have tried to teach him sign language to no avail. Mr. Martinez has no way of talking to his lawyers. He probably doesn't know what's happening to him and hasn't known what's happened to him for the last 13 years. The state Supreme Court ruled this week it cannot hear Martinez's case because it's a criminal one and must first go to the Court of Appeals. But there is no appeal to hear because there's never been a trial. I think the only option for him to go forward and get meaningful review now is a petition for a writ of habeas corpus. So a trial judge can rule whether his continued detention by the Commonwealth is, le is legal. Attorney Stephen Emmert says whatever a trial judge decides on that, whether he's being held unlawfully, well, that decision can be appealed, and the Supreme Court, he said, would hear that. The justices will ultimately have to struggle with what to do, but somebody's got to make a judgment call. And I reached out to Oswaldo's attorney, but have not heard back from him to ask what his next move might be.